Welcome back. In this video, let's discuss how we can bypass root detection in Android applications. In this video, we are going to do that using objection. In a later video, we are also going to do that by writing custom Frida scripts. The concept is going to be the same both with objection as well as with custom Frida scripts, but we are going to do both so that we can have a backup if one of them fails, right? So let's get started. To begin with, we need to have secure store v2 application installed on the device. In this case, the application has been installed on this emulator. This is the secure store v2 application that you can see here. Now let me launch this application and see what happens. Look at that. It says emulator or rooted device detected exiting. So if you leave this as is for a while, the app will just exit. It won't even run after some time. It is going to show you the message and after a few seconds, the app just exits, right? So let's try to launch it once again and let's give it a moment and it is going to exit itself. There you go. So this is what happens when you launch this application on a rooted device or an emulator. So now our job is to bypass this restriction to begin with, because to be able to test anything else on the application, we should be able to bypass this root detection in the first place. So let's begin by typing objection dash dash gadget and let's specify the package name of this application com dot android pen testing dot secure store v2 and we need to type explore objection space explore is going to work if you are on a non rooted device but if you are doing this on a rooted device or on an emulator we will have to be explicit about the application that we want to hook into so in this case that's the reason why i'm specifying this application's package name as part of the gadget now we can hit enter but before that if you want to know how to find out the package name of our target application we can just use frida dash ps and dash uai and I'm going to just grep for secure and let's hit enter. Look at that. So you can see the package name here and this is how we can get the package name of the target application. So once after getting the package name, we can use that inside objections gadget option and let's hit enter. When you hit enter, what happens is objection is going to launch the application for us. So let's hit enter and there you go. And even with objection, obviously we did not specify anything extra. So it is going to show us the rooted device error and it is going to just exit. Now, when an application just quits itself, when the rooted devices are detected, it is going to be slightly difficult to bypass because we don't have enough time to run any commands while the application is running. So we will have to deal with that. And we are going to discuss how to do that in this case. Okay, so to begin with, I'm just going to exit once again because the app is not running anymore and we don't have a choice to run any commands on the application. So what I'm going to do is, the moment the application runs, I'm going to run an objection command, Android hooking watch class. And I'm going to specify the class com dot Android pen testing dot secure store v2 dot user main activity this is the class inside which a function is used to check if the device is rooted now how do i know that there are a bunch of ways to find out these classes that are being loaded one way is to use objection itself Another way is to use static analysis. We can decompile the code and check which classes have these root detection specific functionality. In this case, we can just use this particular command to see what's happening when this particular class gets loaded. So I'm going to just copy this. And once again, I'm going to run objection explore 
and the moment the application launches I'm going to run the watch command so let's hit enter like this okay so if you see this we have invoked a bunch of functions inside this class the ones that are looking interesting are display profile info get profile information show bank data show message show rooted error and ease device rooted and the last one is ease user already logged in these are some of the methods that are looking interesting but before that you might be interested to know what are the classes that are available in this case since i know that this is the class inside which we have this is device rooted method i have just directly used the class but there could be some cases where you want to see the list of classes that are loaded by the application so that can be done so let me just exit from objections shell and let's use this command android hooking list classes this command should provide us the list of classes that are loaded after the application is launched so let's copy this and run objection explore once again like we did earlier and once the application gets loaded we are going to quickly run the command like this if you see this there are a lot of classes that are loaded here we can just bring the list down by only looking for classes that are within the package name for instance the package name in this case is com dot android pen testing dot secure store v2 so we can just look into the classes that are inside that package name so let me quickly show you the classes that are inside com dot android pen testing dot secure store v2 if you look at this these are the classes that are loaded inside secure store v2 package if you see this there is only one class that is loaded in this case which is user main activity and i think that is the only class that is getting loaded before the app exits this is one hint that this particular class could be having the root detection checks right so once after finding out the class if we feel that is doing the actual check we can actually watch the methods that are inside this class that is what we have done earlier and we identified that there is a function called is device rooted inside this all right so let's go back and let's exit from objections shell anyway the app is exited so we cannot run anything anyway so we can just exit from objections shell now the next thing that i want to do is like we have watched for the methods inside a class we can use another command to list the classes so this is basically going to list the classes that are loaded into the memory the watch actually looks for the methods that are being loaded at runtime however the list command just shows us the methods that are already loaded so let me show you how we can do that we can do that by typing android hooking list class methods from a specific class so we will have to specify com dot android pen testing dot secure store v2 dot user main activity so we will basically have to specify the exact class name from which we want to see the methods okay so i'm just copying this and i'm going to launch the application once again using objection and once the application launches i'm going to quickly run the command that i have just copied Here it is. As you can see, the is device rooted method is already launched and the return value for this particular method is a boolean value. So it could be a true or false. This is possibly true in this case and that's why the application is exiting. If we can somehow manage to return false as the return value for this method, we can probably bypass root detection. so let me just show you how we can do that in objection now instead of typing it outside the objections shell let me just show you how we can form that command from objections shell itself 
The reason why I am doing this from objections shell this time is to show you how the objections automatic suggestion feature works. Let's begin by typing Android to run any Android specific commands. So I'm going to start with Android. As you can see here, we are getting some suggestions. In this case, we want to go with hooking. We want to set a particular value. So we are going to use set and we want to set a return value and we will have to specify the full name of the method, which should include the package name and the class name in front of it. So it should look like this com dot Android pen testing dot secure store v2 dot user main activity and the method name, which is is device rooted. And finally, we will have to specify the written value that we want. Now, if we just hit enter, it's not going to work because the app is not running anyway. So one way to execute this is like we did earlier, we will have to be very quick when the app just launches, we will have to run this. Let's try to do that. So let's once again start the application using objection and I'm quickly going to paste the command that we have copied once the application launches. So let's type this command and look at that. I tried pasting it, but seems like by the time I pasted it, the application has already executed the is device rooted method and it is still showing that the device is rooted. So obviously this is not a viable approach. So let's try another approach. I'm exiting from here. Now let me quickly show you objection explores help options. If you see this, there is an option here to specify a startup command. So this means we can run objection explore and we can simultaneously specify a startup command to execute while the application is launching. So let's try that. So I'm going to just type the same command. In addition to this, I'm going to specify the root bypass command that we have just copied. This is the one. So let's try this, hoping that this is going to execute the command even before the application launches. So let's hit enter. Seems like we still have the same issue. To me, it appears that the application is executing the root detection check very quickly even before we run this particular objection command. So even this approach is not working for us. In general, you can try this approach. It should work. If this doesn't work like what just happened in our case, don't lose your hopes. There is another way you can get it to work. So let me show you what we can do here. I'm once again exiting from here. And this time I'm going to use Frida to launch the application. Let me just close the app and let's open up another terminal and let's just copy this package name and let's use Frida dash U dash F and let's specify the package name. This F is to force the application to be launched. So we are going to use this command. Let's hit enter. And if you see this, the application remains in paused state. So to resume the application's execution, we will have to type resume. And this is what happens after we do that. The application starts executing and it is going to execute whatever the code that is in the beginning of the application's code flow. So we are going to use this feature of Frida to bypass root detection using objection. So let me just show you how we can do that. Once again, I'm going to run this command to launch the application. And I'm not going to resume the application using Frida. Instead, I'm going to run this objection command. So if you see this, we are once again executing this command against the application. Since the application is already running, we are going to execute this command on the application that is already running. However, the application is in paused state. It hasn't executed the root detection check yet. So we are going to run this now and then the application will be launched. So let's hit enter. Now let's go back to the Frida terminal 
and now let's type resume hit enter and look at that this time we managed to set the return value for this method is device rooted we can see that here return value was not false and we are setting it to false so this is how we can use frida and objection together to bypass root detection in some complex cases like you have seen in this demo this case is slightly complex usually if the application is just checking and waiting for the user to enter something we can get an objection shell and we can type the commands in this case even the early instrumentation with objection is not working so we had to use frida and objection together to bypass root detection so this is how we can use objections capabilities to bypass root detection on android applications there is another feature that comes with objection to automatically bypass root detection but that may not work with all the applications let me quickly show you what that is i'm going to get a shell using objection once again and we do not need this anymore since the application is already launched and let me hit enter and now let's type android root and if you type space here there are two options we can disable root and we can simulate root so to disable root detection we can try android root disable in this case it is not going to work right here so let's try with the same technique that we have used earlier by setting a return value so instead of manually setting a return value we are going to run this command as a startup command so let's exit and let's type dash s as a startup command and let's paste this command and once again let's quit here and let's kill the application and let's launch the application using frida and go back to objection and enter this command and let's go back and type resume if you see this this time the root detection is not bypassed even though we tried running the existing android root disable command from objection it did not help us to bypass root detection so this may work in some cases but as you can see here in this case it's not a go-to tool for every single application so we will have to do a bit of manual analysis to be able to bypass root detection in many cases right so this is how we can use objection to bypass root detection in a later video we are also going to bypass root detection by writing custom frida scripts